If you look to the Minneapolis skyline tomorrow night, you will notice a lot of red. Uh, many of the bridges, landmarks, and buildings will be lit for Go Red for Women Day. It's just one of the many colors that you might see on the Minneapolis skyscrapers any given night. How are the nighttime colors of buildings decided? Good question. Heather Brown got a close-up look. Early Tuesday morning, you could see the steam rise along the blue of the U.S. Bank Corps Center, the northern lights of Target Plaza, the bright string around the IDS, and the purple crown of the Capella Tower. You can see the lights from miles and miles away. I've heard you can see it from Hudson, Wisconsin on a clear night. You can? Yes. No way. The Capella Tower general manager. We are on the 56th floor. Led us up to the penthouse. So if you look up here, the, the little black light fixtures are the actual lights. For incredible views of both the outside and the in. They're color changing LED. There's 52 of them. And what they do is they, they shine on the system of glass panels, which makes up the crown. So it's the light reflecting, which makes it look so cool. Exactly. Before their 2020 LED upgrade, we'd sent people up the, this ladder here to tape on color film. So it's a very manual process. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> now they can make a change, like this Christmas red and green. From a smartphone. Similar to the U.S. Bancorp Center along Nicollet Mall. So you just push the button. Just push the button. Huh. From their top floor, the 31st. So who has access to this closet? Just the management office. <laughs> yeah. How do you decide which lights on which night? Great question. Their go-tos are white and blue. During the Winter Classic, they went wild red and green. If there's a Vikings game, We'll put, we'll make it purple. We celebrated Prince, obviously, with a, a dark purple. The buildings will also celebrate holidays or local events and tenants or business partners. They often grant requests from nonprofits. We try to coordinate with 35W and Lowry. But you don't call up IDS and say, hey, we're going purple tonight. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Most of the lights go dark between midnight and 6 a.m. That's for the neighbors to protect the birds and to meet energy standards. Do these lights take a lot of energy? Not a ton, but enough. And you want to curb every ounce of energy that you can in order to meet the standards. Can regular people ask? Regular people have asked. <laughs> you get some, oh, I'm proposing to my girlfriend this weekend. Her favorite color is blue. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Heather Brown. Usually that's a no. WCCO. Usually it's a no. Four news. And usually it's a no because you told Heather they just get too many requests like that and can't grant them to everyone. This year, the Capella Tower is going to turn 30 years old. Though they haven't worked out all of the details, they will try all the colors and have it spin around.